Today I am sharing with you my top tips for cleaning your house fast. As you can see, the house is in a bit of a state, but I allocated an hour and a half and managed to clean the whole house from top to bottom. So I'm going to share with you how I did that and add a few tips along the way as well. So I'm starting in my daughter's bedroom, which has got various piles of clean laundry dotted around that needs to be put away. It's also just a bit of a mess in general. Her bed hasn't been made and actually it needs changing um, and fresh sheets putting on it. The desk is a bit of a mess. So I'm starting here because this was the worst room because of the piles of laundry on the floor. This was the worst room. So starting here was a good, good point to begin because it was the bit I was dreading the most and I think if you start on the bit you're dreading the most then it's all uphill it's all downhill from there if that makes sense if you're having to do an hour's worth of cleaning and then you get to the worst bit I think you can sort of start to feel a little bit demotivated that's just how things work for me anyway now I wanted to share this it went against my instinct to share this because you know this this is not like a YouTube dream house <laughs> But I want to show you a bit of reality. Because my daughter likes to dress herself, she yanks all the clothes out, sometimes stuffs them back in, and so basically her wardrobe is constantly in this kind of state. Because I'm doing a fast clean today, I'm not going to focus on reorganising that wardrobe and those drawers. I'm literally just putting stuff away. Um, every now and then I will do this huge tidy up where I do reorganize the drawers and I like to use the Comrie method of folding where things are kind of held up um, horizontally they're much easier to see that way than if you stack clothes on top of each other but this is a speed clean and I think in a life with kids you kind of have to be realistic I can't expect my kids to go and pick out some clothes for themselves and then put everything back super duper neat like they're just too young so certain things they can do they are capable of doing some tidying obviously but not you know the kind of Monica Geller from Friends style cleaning <laughs> that you might ideally want so I wanted to share that shot of the wardrobe just to just to show you <laughs> As you can tell from my videos, that this is very much like just I show totally warts and all reality. The house is not perfect 95% of the time. I wouldn't have even said it's perfect the other 5% of the time. But I just about managed to tick along to a point where when I do get around to tidying, I can do it quite quickly because everything has a place and that is really, really key. But my point just is that the house is not perfect at all. <laughs> And I think that's okay, and I think you have to come to accept that. And I suspect that a large number of people who claim to have a clean house, like all of the time, and that they have an absolutely perfect system that's totally foolproof with young kids in the house, I suspect that's not the complete reality. I might be wrong, I'm happy to be proven wrong. Anyway, so I've just taken the bits from upstairs that needed to go downstairs, and I'm now moving down to cleaning downstairs. So I'm starting with tidying the living room, and big news about the living room guys you'll know that I've been whinging about these sofas that we have here for ages I don't like the colour for a start because it doesn't go with this very dark wood floor and secondly they've been scratched to death um, by our cats and the kids the kids have picked at them as well we've ordered new sofas they're coming in about five or six weeks I'm honestly I'm so excited about it it's gonna make such a difference to this room they're a much paler colour and obviously when they arrive, I will I will share how it looks. So I'm now moving to tidying up this side. I'm moving this lamp into the sideboard in the dining room and just having a little um, juggle around with this sideboard. I'm trying to prevent this sideboard from becoming a dumping ground again, which it basically is. So it's vaguely unavoidable, but I figure if I make it look kind of pretty, then it's less likely to become a dumping ground for like piles of stuff. And like speaking of things becoming a dumping ground, I don't know if you guys saw the documentary with Kate Garraway a couple of weeks ago about her husband and his COVID battle. It was such a good documentary. She is like amazing, such a strong person. But what I really loved about it, one of the things I loved about it was that looking in her home, it's just a real family home. You know, there was piles of stuff in the corner. 
it wasn't all grey or it wasn't all white like some homes seem to have become. It was just like a very normal family home and I just loved seeing that. I was like, oh, thank God. Thank God it isn't just me <laughs> that lives with piles of mess here and there um, in their home. It's, it's, you know, it's normal. You're a busy parent, you have kids around, the house is sometimes a bit of a mess. So anyway, as I said, that was only one of the things I loved about that documentary. There were many, many other things to love about that documentary. So I've just moved into the playroom now. As you can see in the background, right, the kids have got these My Fairy Gardens, which they really enjoyed planting, don't get me wrong, but like they just don't look as pretty <laughs> as on the box. And I think that is partly because the kids have sort of fiddled around with the bits and they've moved them around and certain things have collapsed. But it doesn't, it doesn't kind of have that fairy magic that maybe the box <laughs> claims it to have, but the grass has grown, so can't complain about that too much. Um, I'm just using the vacuum cleaner in the little um, grooves in the door frame because that just gets full of crumbs and dirt and hair and dust and stuff. So I'm just running that along. I'm not being totally thorough with the hoovering today. I'm not moving furniture or anything. I'm literally just focusing on the high traffic areas, the conservatory which gets really really dirty on the floor because the kids often eat food in there I don't know if you saw but I had to pick up watermelon off the floor just then like bits of watermelon from yesterday so I'm focused on the areas that we use the most and I'm not worrying too much about getting things put away absolutely perfectly that kind of job is for a day when I've got hours and hours of time to have a big sort out and a big declutter You've been crying over him for a lifetime so if you don't of the entire day I'm going to clean the dishwasher but basically the dishwasher is going to clean itself because I'm just going to chuck a finish dishwasher cleaner pack in there and run it on a hot wash so I wish my whole house would clean itself like this this is probably the worst room in the house at the moment so this is the utility room just putting a load of washing on um, so down to the side there you can see some clothes that are going for donation so in a sec I'm going to pick those up and pop them in the boot of the car because I can take them down to the um, the donation bin by the supermarket later but the um, yeah this room does need sorting out we need to find a place for the skateboards just don't know where to keep those there's no room in the shed um, but yeah that's that's basically the worst room in the house um, I'm now moving on to vacuuming the hallway just the final few jobs so there's a couple of things that I don't have time to do with this particular speed clean. So I don't have time to do the bathrooms. I'll do those at some point over the weekend. I do have time to just chuck a bit of bleach down the toilet. So that just takes a few seconds. Um, but I'm just really, really focused on just making the house feel clean. So I knew that the bathrooms would probably be too much. So I was focused on the three main things, tidying, dusting and vacuuming. And that's gone really, really well um, because there was like quite a few bits to do upstairs. It's just taken a little bit um, too long to fit in the bathrooms as well, but that's okay because the house still feels pretty good. <laughs> So I'm just finishing off vacuuming the upstairs carpets. The house is feeling so much better now that things are back where they're supposed to be. Um, it really is amazing like how much you can get done as long as you focus in an hour and a half. One of the key things 
to being able to do this is putting down your phone and turning off notifications because that can be such a distraction. As you can see, it looks a whole lot better. It's feeling a whole lot better. I know it won't stay like this all weekend, um, but yeah, even down to the hallway, finally just looks a bit neater. Now I can relax this evening. It's just these welly boots to put away. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you on the next upload. Bye.